There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So today I'm about to do a ponytail. Like, listen, okay, I'm a ponytail wearer. Lately I've been wearing a lot of ponytails, okay? So I, I just need to get it together. Um, it'd be hot out here. I don't want to really want to wear a wig every day. So I just be, you know, listen, I'm about to try this hack that I seen actually five years ago. Y'all know I'm an OG. I've been on YouTube for some years. About five years ago is when I did see this actual tutorial by a YouTuber by the name of Miss Tweet. She did give an edges kind of like hack it wasn't kind of like it was definitely a edge hack so if you have thin edges you know what i'm saying you ain't got no hair you balls on the side girl miss tweet has you covered with this hack that she did and i did try it but i didn't really succeed at it a couple years ago so girl i just was like forget this okay I did notice uh about a few months ago that someone else did come out with a video that was very similar to Miss Tweet, and she also did the same exact hack. Miss Tweet actually did do either two or three videos, and they all are pretty old, so you can definitely check it out. I will remember, hopefully, to link it below. If I don't, please someone remind me in the comments below to put Miss Tweet's video. But with that being said, we're gonna try a ponytail from Amazon. Y'all know what I say about Amazon. Amazon Prime, get your shit on time, girl. So it is by a uh, ponytail hair vendor named Flash Hair. But this is a drawstring kinky straight ponytail. I love these. I love ponytails because, girl, listen. I ain't got time to be putting no wig on every day. And I think, like, I look cute with a ponytail, girl. But sometimes I do have to fight and struggle with my edges. But as long as you got, like, some really good gel, girl, then you should be covered. I use, like, quite a few different things. But this time around, I'm going to try Miss Tweet's method. Now, she did use some extension here when she did do this hack. But, girl, listen. I was like, okay, well, listen. I'm going to try um, some extension here, too. And then I did see Vanessa Monet use some wefting here. But, girl, listen. You know, I've been doing wigs all day. And I was like, oh. So y'all know when I be like customizing my wigs and I gotta like you know cut over the ear tab or what have you to make it fit properly because it'd be a little bit too big. Well, girl, yes, you know what I'm saying. I saved the pieces from that today. I have quite a few, and then you know when I become my little baby hairs and stuff, I saved the hair from that today. Mm -hmm. That way, I ain't got to cut no other hair. So look, but damn, I got this piece right here, baby girl. I got this piece right here, baby girl. Oh, I got some right here. I think I'm pretty covered for the day, okay? The gel that I'm going to be using just to slick my own personal ponytail down is this right here. I love Edge Booster. I, girl, listen. I love them. I also have like their um, great, I don't know what it's called, some type of pomade that I use on my pon my edges to make it darken and make it look like it's there. But if it ain't, but I love this gel. It's not too thick. This is the thicker one. This is the thicker one. And I only use this for my baby hairs. I don't use this for my whole actual ponytail because it is thicker. But this stuff, girl, is amazing. But I do know that you do need the hair, the you know, the little extension hairs, the stick, stick, stick. So I don't have, like, I, do I have? I don't remember if I have the actual got to be free gel, but I do have this one right here. And this is just as good, okay? When this get tacky, honey. It gets tacky. I think I'm gonna use my flat iron tool to straighten this out real quick, and then I'll be back. Maybe I'm a fighter, never back it down. Maybe I'm a soldier, stand in my ground. So if you're gonna find me for my heart, all you're gonna get is battle of God. Maybe I'm a tiger, 27 eight. Maybe I'm a rifle, from right you dead. So if you're gonna find me for my heart, all you're gonna get is battle of God. What can I say any more than desire? More than just a pretty face. So guy, you better walk away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Side of the fire, someone who can handle me. Someone got your heart to be. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. If you try to come closer, I'ma give you some closure before you know it, it's over. So run away, run away. I'm not trying to hurt you, but I will if I have to. I'ma tell you what I do. Run away, run away. Baby, I'm a fighter. 
you guys. So for one, this thing straightened so nicely. I think it took me like five minutes. I just put it right on here with a bunch of pins. And when I tell you it straightened nicely, it really straightened nicely. Let's just jump right into this tutorial. I'm going to put you guys on mute or my voice on mute. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of info from both ladies. I will definitely take into consideration both videos. No shade, none of that stuff. But I just want to just say where I really originally seen the video at. As well as the young lady's video, Vanessa Monet, her video is really nice as well. I do like the quality of her video, meaning the lighting and the voice. Very good audio, very good quality lighting. And I do like the fact that she is very confident in explaining the issues with her edges. A lot of us do suffer from hair loss like myself, and I have lost a lot of hair over the past couple years due to a, you know, hereditary issue, which I will explain in the voiceover. But I do appreciate both of these women for just coming forward and just giving us a taste of their own life and how we can improve our own hair issues had we choose to. So with that being said, let's get into this girl. What's up guys? So let's get into this video. As you guys know, I did watch Miss Tweet's video about five years ago. It was so interesting and I have been suffering with uh, thin hair for the past five, six years. And her video was so interesting, but unfortunately, I guess I was a little bit impatient and wasn't able to achieve it. So I'm gonna give it a try again. As you guys see, my edges are thin. They're not that thin, but they are thin enough. I do suffer from androgenic alopecia, which is hereditary. It is basically male pattern baldness, but as you guys know, women can also suffer from that. It does give you a receding hairline and thin edges. As well as that, I do also have chronic venous insufficiency, which is CVI. It is a vein disease. And due to the blood flow in my veins, it does not carry fully throughout my body at times. And that is also contributing to my hair loss. But you know, I do try to get around it. As long as I have some hair girl, then I'm good. Um, my hairline does not push back. This is actually my own natural hairline. That's the reason why I'm able to pull my wigs all the way down. But unfortunately, I have been trying to grow my hair for years and years and years back. And I really did think the wigs contributed to it, but it didn't. Um, I don't even wear wigs every day. Not like that, it's too hot for me. So I've been doing so many different things to my hair until I recently, not recently, but was told about a year ago, the downfall and the reasons for my hair loss. So, you know, I just deal with it on a day to day basis. So what I'm gonna be using right here is the got to be, I actually did find it in my cabinet and I'm gonna use it. I'm not like a huge fan of got to be, I'm just not. Now, as I told you guys, I did use the hair from the wig videos that I was recording today. I just felt like I'm not going to cut any new tracks. I'm just going to use what I had on hand. And so far, so good. I did take bits and pieces from each one of the videos. Uh, Mrs. Tweet was the original one that I did see. And Vanessa Monet's did come out five months ago. And she stated that she liked to use human hair. So that is the reason why I decided to go ahead and use the human hair. Now, the one thing I will say between the both of these ladies, they share their stories of their thin edges or their thin hair. And a lot of times as we as women don't do that. I for one didn't share with anyone, you know, I just cover it up. I mean, hey, I'm not the only one in the world with thin edges, but I'm just telling you guys now what I'm going through. It doesn't really put me in a bad spot or a bad place. You know, I just deal with it. That's what wigs are for. You know, that's what wigs are for. But I mean, so far so good. I mean, I thought I was doing okay with the process. It came out pretty decent. You're definitely gonna have to check out the Amazon vendor flask hair that has these amazing ponytails. They not only have the kinky straight one, but they do have other different types of hair textures. So if you guys are interested in something curlier, then they got you covered. And you know what I say about Amazon, Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time, girl. I love Amazon. Like Amazon is the best place to shop in the entire world like no doubt hands down to amazon i used to be an ebay person an ebay fanatic but with amazon you can get your stuff today tomorrow you know what i'm saying it is what it is but yeah so check them out the hair quality is great it curled so amazing or basically a flat iron so amazing so i do give flask hair their props and it's affordable it's human hair so don't think that you're gonna pay ten dollars for a ponytail it's human hair girl now, when I removed the headscarf, this is what I came up with. These patchy, sticky-like spots from the glue and the hairspray. That's the number one thing why I'm not a huge fan of Godspeed. But this is a drawstring ponytail. Now, I prefer the wrap ponytails, 
Those are my favorites. I think they just are a lot less bulkier. But you know, if you don't have a wrap ponytail, just take your hair from underneath and wrap it around. Try to be a little bit more neater than I am with this, but I'm definitely gonna show you a part two to this video of how I finessed it without the hair. But look at the sides. I mean, it does look pretty decent. And that side is a little bit eh, but on the opposite side, that one came out, my left side came out a lot better versus my right but you know it is what it is but yeah if you're suffering from hair loss you definitely want to check out these videos they're really great um it is time consuming it's a process but you know i will show you in a few minutes of how i do my own edges without all of this hair gel and so forth so stay tuned all right you guys all right all right all right so this method of getting you some edges is cool it did come out nice and cute but i'm going to say this it's messy 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 girl like i'm one i'm very particular i do not like hair all over the place like the amount of hair that was like all in my rug all over me was like just a lot for me and i just really don't like hair all over the place i think like if i would have went with using some synthetic right here like miss tweet did miss tweet did then i think like it wouldn't been like all over the place like you know what i mean but it was just kind of like messy 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 i really would think like using like the synthetic hair fibers would make it a little bit more stiff and wouldn't be so thin and fly away but for the most part it did come out cute you know what i mean uh it is a lot of work and i'm not with all the stickiness or what have you i'm not really sure how long this is going to stay on my actual hair you know what i'm saying like i'm definitely going to take the ponytail off the ponytail, let me tell you, I do like it. It's a drawstring. I do like the wrap ponytail the most. But, you know, I just take these and I just wrap some of the hair around it. But the one thing that I do like about this kinky straight ponytail is it's very flowy once you go ahead and um, flat iron it. It has a nice flow to it. So I do like that. So a girl will be rocking it. This one right here, girl, human hair, kinky straight. I do like the fact that it did, you know, straighten really well. gonna be like the second part of the ponytail video because I had to brush my hair this morning and that stuff like I said was messy 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 um it just is messy it left my hair just like really hard and just it felt like a helmet spray some conditioner water on my hair and put some of my hair growth oil just to get that stuff out because I don't have any oil sheen I, my edges is thin right there but they're not that damn thin so yeah I'm not about to be using that so look I was telling you guys I love to use the edge factors um edge booster stuff this is what I'll be using to make my edges look thicker. I know I look crazy right now because I have no lashes on, but y'all will see me in a minute. So this is the color that I have in deep brown. There is a black, but I wish it was a color in between deep brown and black because this is almost like a reddish color brown. And then the black is a little bit too dark for me. So I try to like, you know, combine, combine things, but I like the product that they mesh together really good. So I will take some of this and I only use this in certain areas. Like I don't use this all over my entire head. You know, I'll use it right here because once I brush with this gel, my hair comes together a lot better. Let's see, if I swoop a certain way, then I'm okay. I told you I'll stay rhyming and don't even be doing it on purpose, okay? And because my forehead is long, like this is my natural hairline, okay? I do have a long head. I've always had a long head. Okay, you just probably didn't notice that because I always wear a wig, but I've been born with a long head. Like this is my natural hairline. It's not pushed back or anything like that. I'm just born with a long effing head. I like to make like the illusion that it's not so long. Trust me when I tell you. You see, this stuff is a mess. I don't, I'm not like the huge just got to be fan. I don't like that stuff. And I don't like that stuff all caked in my hair either. That stuff is a mess. When I tell you it's a mess, it's a mess. Very sticky, just a messy. And see with this, and you can wipe this off at night with a washcloth like I do so it doesn't get on your pillow. When I tell you it made my hair hard, it made my hair freaking hard. Okay, so I'm just gonna swoop it in a certain pattern so that way it's not so noticeable. This is what I have to do, okay? And then I take it, like I said, it's not too dark though. It's not dark enough. But, you know, once I brush it in, it's like less noticeable. And I just take a certain toothbrush. You can't use like every single kind of toothbrush. Make sure that it's not too hard. Like it has like some of those rubber, rubber tips on it. Cause I find like that one is a little bit more gentle and it doesn't take the product off. Now this stuff is really to cover up your grays. It's not for you to look like you got uh, thicker hair. 
and just to cover up your grace. And I really thought it was to make it look like you have thicker hair until when I got it and then I really truly read it. I was just like, oh, okay, well, it seems to be working for me. So I'm just going to continue to use it. Maybe I'll try the black because I tried it in the store and it just was too dark. But like I said, it's not for this. So. Like if you use the two products together because they're made by the same company, that it just looks good together. I don't know if it's going to hold good for any other product because this got to be is a mess. Girl. Then I'm going to try some of this. This is like some gel that I bought from Amazon. It's called Dark Brown, but let me tell y'all. Um, it's a little bit darker. It's supposed to make you look like you got edges, but I just put very little with this. You can't just rub it in right away. You gotta like let this dry a tad bit down. Like let it dry down a little bit. Like get harder. And this gel is by OK, right? So it's right. Mm -hmm. So as you guys can tell from that small ass jar of gel, I did get that from Amazon as well. I kind of figured it was going to be small, just like the Even New York one for your edges, but you don't need a lot. It's all in the way that you brush your hair. You know what I'm saying? You got to brush it in a certain pattern if you have like thin edges. Okay. And don't just put it in the spot where it is just edgeless. You got to kind of like blend it in from other areas too. So you see how, even though I have here up here and stuff, the color is a little bit off and I'll just be real, just use a tad bit at a time, honey. The best thing I would suggest is if you scoop a tad bit out, put it on like your hand, let it get a little air dry. Okay, so once you're done, like just, you could just like take a little bit out, like this is enough, okay? Take a little bit out, put your top back on so the whole thing don't dry up and just leave it on a tip. So you guys, I hope this was self-explanatory. I just take a little bit at a time and just dab, dab, dab. This is the gel that I purchased. I really do like for it to just oxidize first prior to applying it because it'll make it thicker. I do believe like the Even New York one for dark edges and make you look like edges is way better than this OK brand, but it does cost a little bit more. Now see, the hair is still a little bit wet from the gel. So what I'm gonna do in the oil and the water that I had to spray on it to get it off that stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put this on. I, some people like a cotton scarf, some people like a silk scarf. I don't know, I like this one from the Dollar Tree. It's cotton, I just use this because for me, it just holds the hair down better. All right guys, so here is the finished look of the Amazon ponytail. I told you boys, I was looking cute. Barely any makeup on. The only makeup that I have on is my lashes and some eyeliner, some lip gloss, and some eyebrows. You know, I look, some eyebrows. This is my favorite go-to for my eyebrows, okay? NYX uh, Snatch Brow, whatever it's called, what's it called? Lift and Snatch, okay? And this, a little lip combo, okay? So now we're about to go out to dinner, me and the booze, okay? Because they are my Valentines, my Valentines. Mm -hmm. But yes, I don't listen. This is how the edges look now after they're dry. And like I said, you can let this stuff dry. I think I let it over dry too much, but I'm gonna show you guys how it look. So this is how it looked. It didn't really dry down that much. I had another one that was more um it would dry a lot thicker, but um, but I just feel like that's enough for me. I'm not really trying to cake it on because it'll easily wipe off at the end of the night. I will wipe it off. But this is how I make my edges look a little bit thicker. I, I can't do all of that extra stuff. It did look nice. But girl, when I tell you it was a lot, my head was like so sticky and if this was like helmet-like and I'm really not into the helmet-like feel, but I'm I'm digging this ponytail though. It do look cute. Hello. So you guys, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. I'm gonna go, gotta get my clothes on. I got a date, okay? I got a date with um some really cute young ladies mm -hmm, my daughters mumsy nay uh, we are going on a date and maybe even my daughter-in-law if she wants to um come okay yes it's galentine's honey galentine's galentine's honey galentine's but i love you all make sure you come and subscribe thumbs the video up and i will see y'all in the next one go, 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 go.
Bye.